When it comes to financial crisis or loss of income, which obviously can fit into the category of financial crisis, an AMP survey has found women between the ages of 18 and 39 in New Zealand are three times more likely to rely on a male partner to help them out of trouble. So it's like partner insurance. AMP Director of Advice and Sales, Blair Vernon, joins me now. Blair, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, it, this is interesting and extraordinarily sexist behaviour from women between the ages of 18 and 39 and probably extraordinarily unwise because there's no reason to suggest that males will be able to help them out. Uh, exactly. And we were surprised, actually. We thought for this age group um, there would have been a greater sense of equality about um, taking care of your own financial affairs uh, and being more independent or at least um, more capable of figuring out who, who am I actually going to be relying on? Because I'm not sure actually relying on your partner, I guess, which in this case typically a male, is the smartest call. Why do you imagine, from the questions that you asked, why do you imagine that it is so disproportionate, the number of females versus males who haven't got what you would see as adequate insurance? Yeah, I think there's a couple of trends. One is obviously uh, there's more females who come in and out of the workforce during that time, and so they often think, oh, I won't get insurance because uh, I'm not working, um, or I can't get it because I'm not working, and that's not actually the case. So I think that's a commonly um, misunderstood factor. Uh, the second is uh, we know there's still an income inequality and often people think I'll insure the person who's earning the most, which is odd because if uh, a mother gets unwell, particularly, mm. um, has got to look after the children, um, who's going to look after that person? Typically yep. the income earner. Absolutely. So they're in the same financial pickle. All right, so how do you rectify that? I mean, are all young, generally speaking, between the ages of 18 and 39, are all young people inadequately insured? The general sense is that is a segment that are grossly underinsured. Particularly at the younger end of that age group. Absolutely. Be for two key reasons. One, they think they're bulletproof. I'm not going to get sick. That happens to old people. Uh, or secondly, they think that the community at large will look after them. So AC they think most illness comes at that point from an accident, which mm. is actually not the case. So they misread that ACC will respond. Okay, so what is the insurance that... See, it's very hard to talk to an 18-year-old and say they need to be insured. It's very hard to say, oh, you need income protection. And they'd probably look at you and just say, no, what I need is a job. Yeah, I mean, we've we just launched a product which has income protection and trauma and life insurance in it for $11 right. for that segment. So, yeah. you know, we know that they don't want to spend a whole lot. So $11 a month is not a whole lot. You've got to appeal to them at a price point that's more like, you know, Netflix and Spotify. So we get that you've got to do it differently. But we think it's really important that at that age, people start to take some accountability for themselves. Otherwise, the next challenge is it falls to their parents. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, well, and that's the next thing they say. So you've got all this extraordinary number of women in the age group, 18 to 39, mm -hmm. who say, number one, I'm relying on my partner. Well, what if your partner fails? You ask them that question. And they said, well, there's my friends and my parents. Yeah, I mean, that, that's it's a great game. way of losing friends. Friends. Well, it's great for a game show isn't phone a friend, but it's not too good if you're in financial challenge. And I often talk to, to uh, people who are older, they're in their 50s and 60s, saying they don't need insurance because their kids are technically off their hands, that's what they say. Mm. And my general answer to them is, what happens if they get sick? They're probably calling you. They will rely on you. And yeah. so for parents out there who've got grown-up children between that 18 and sort of 40 segment, to what extent have you asked, have you actually got this stuff organised? Because you don't want to find out when they're sick. Mm. All right, Blair, thank you very much for joining us. Blair Vernon, and there are products out there designed for people in that age group, uh, those sort of all-encompassing products. Absolutely. AMP uh, Director of Advice and Sales, Blair Vernon.